By now, their government believes Dr. Jackson was trying to sabotage their research. It's a lie. They're using Daniel as a scapegoat. Still, you said he was vocal in his disapproval of their project before the accident. None of this bodes well for diplomatic relations. Why are you talking about diplomatic relations? This is Daniel's life. Sir, I know how you feel because I feel the same way. But I cannot stress enough how valuable this element can be. I will draft a letter to the Colonian leaders. General, you cannot capitulate to these people. They are lying bastards. Their government doesn't know the truth. So we tell them. They will have little reason to believe us over their own people, especially when what we're forcing them to admit would be a major embarrassment. It will put them at too great a disadvantage in further negotiations. Sir. You cannot admit Daniel is guilty. Give me some credit, Jack. I will tell them that we did not order any such action and do not condone its obvious intentions, both of which are true. Hopefully, we can lay the groundwork for further diplomatic negotiations, oh, which God will sake. eventually result in an amicable trade for the Nequadria. I'm ordering you to deliver the letter. Fine, sir. Hey, Colonel O'Neill. Surprised to see you. Brought a letter from my superior to your leaders. That's uh, an apology. Yeah, hardly. You see, we know you're lying through your teeth. How is Dr. Jackson? Not good. I'm sorry to hear that. Two of the scientists in the room are already dead. The other two will be shortly. Their deaths were horrific. My superior thinks that denying the allegations against Daniel would be a waste of time. He's a wise man. What I don't understand is why your government is even trying to maintain a relationship with us. Because we want some of that stuff you're experimenting with. My government still thinks they can negotiate for it. The Nequadria is very spare and extremely valuable to us. I doubt that my government would ever agree to that. Uh, yeah, I figured. That's why I'm here. I don't understand. I only agreed to bring that letter so I could see you. Why? Because Daniel is dying. And you're looking for someone to blame? Or... I'm not going to let you tarnish his name. See, I don't care what that stuff is worth to anyone. My government will admit Daniel is guilty over my dead body. What do you want from me? Just tell the truth. I can't. Even if I wanted to, without the support of the other scientists. Look, we're only in this mess because you and your buddies are lying cowards trying to cover your own incompetence. Colonel, we desperately need the weapon we're developing. Without it, the Colonian people could easily fall to our rival nations who are developing their own powerful weapons as we speak. Now, we're willing to do whatever is necessary to ensure our freedom and a lasting peace on this planet. All right, let me be clear about something. I think this is the point Daniel was trying to make. A weapon of mass destruction can only be used for one thing. Now, you might think it'll ensure peace and freedom, but I guarantee you, It'll never have the effect you're hoping for until you use it, at least once. Now, just, just for the record, the reason we want that stuff is because we think it could be used to create defense shields. But you just go ahead. Blow yourselves to hell with it.